We're now with Dr. Sam Fury. Uh, now, you've used the CEREC to do your implant treatment planning. Absolutely, and now that we've got the Galileos in our practice, we can not only take our CEREC scan, design the restoration in the CEREC, and now I can take that data, put it in the Galileo scan, and then use that as a guide to place my implant. So it used to be that, you know, I'd send a patient over to my surgeon and say, hey, you know, can you do an implant consult? Mm -hmm. And the next thing you know, the patient comes back with an implant in their head, and I've had no import restoratively whatsoever. Right. So what we do now is, I mean, we're doing our own implant surgery, but for someone who doesn't, is not doing their own surgery, we actually do the treatment planning, utilizing the CEREC, design the restoration on the CEREC, take that information and then put it into the Galileos, and now we know where that restoration is going to be with regards to the edentulous area. And by doing that, you can get perfect implant placement that comes to the long axis of the tube. And so, restoratively, it makes my job very easy. Right, now, kind of the mechanics of it, how was it to kind of learn how to do this? I know you've used CEREC for a lot of years, but um, how was it kind of learning how to do this integration with the tube? It's, it's actually very easy. I mean. It, if you're a CEREC owner, the, the design part is very easy. Every CEREC owner knows how to do that. Um, to actually integrate, it's literally just a couple of clicks. You open up your Galileo software, you do a couple of clicks to kind of match up the points on the, on the edentulous area on the x-ray system and the edentulous area on the CEREC scan, and the software does the rest. I mean, it, it's, there's really no learning curve. It's one of those see one, do one, teach one type of uh, uh, instances. Right, now, now you have the two integrated. You see where the tooth is supposed to be in 3D. Um, what implants do you have to choose from? Then? You can pretty much use any, anything you want to. I mean, they've got a library of every single available system. So you're not tied into any one system. Uh, we do a couple different systems in our office and I can select every single one and updates are coming out constantly, so the implant library that we have includes every system out there. That's great, so, it, so you don't have to do any switching around or anything? Nothing like that, you don't, you, the, the system will adapt to what you're doing, and then based on your plan, you can order a surgical guide that you can use to actually do guided surgery based on that particular implant system, and then use the CEREC system to actually fabricate your restoration. So this is really a top-down approach. I mean, it's everything from the treatment plan all the way through to the final restoration in this one integration. You know, when, when we started with implants, it was, uh, it was one of those things where, you know, where's the bone? And let's stick the implant where the bone is. And today we've come full circle where we're saying, let's design the restoration first, and then place the implant underneath that restoration. And while you're doing the whole planning, you know whether there's enough bone in that area or not. And if you don't have the bone, well, do grafting, do you know, whatever you need to do so that you have a predictable restorative outcome.